I'm HawkeyeSports.com's Matt Nelson, and welcome to Hawkeye Stories. The Iowa soccer team had the best season in school history a year ago, reaching the Big Ten Tournament Finals and making a first-ever trip to the NCAA Tournament. Dave Diani is the new head hawk on the soccer pitch. What's practice like with Coach Diani? We put a microphone on him to find out. I'm going to do most of my stuff right now because then I'm going to lose the wide backs. So one of the things for me will be about like I'm going to do when I have the attacking the, the three center backs and the two holding mids, I'm going to work on like recovery, like balls getting pinged into certain corners, how we get a ball, how do we get ourselves back out. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like I actually am doing the other way. Everyone who's going to be with me this weekend and this week in the three center backs and the two holding mids will stay with me. So we then get a get a, li a little bit of a relationship with that line, those lines. So a lot of teaching today, okay? A lot of teaching and we'll finish when like 5v5 five, like five five and we'll play a little bit. Okay, does that make sense? So that's our goal for today. Any questions with that? Okay, so again, be, be, be very uh, on mentally. You know, I would like to play uh, a little bit different style, um, a little bit different system. Um, we're asking a lot more of them mentally. So what I want us to start is I'm gonna play a ball to Maze right now. Okay, so as I press this ball, it played out to Sarah. Okay, as that happens, Katie Brown, I want you to shift like you're defending, okay, to help. Okay, Mel's gonna shift to Cone. Okay, Corey Burns is gonna shift to Cone. So no, that's good, Nick, that's good. So we're not here. I don't want you to hide, you're there. Anne Marie's biggest thing, and this is for all of us, because there's gonna be times where we have three at the back and we have recovering runs coming. Is we have to have an attitude that we have to step and slow it down. That is, that is crucial to what we're doing. How do you feel? I, and uh, Nico said she wanted me to sit you up for the first couple weeks of the season. Is that true? Ah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We are uh, playing with how we want to, you know, what, what system we want to play. I think it's going to be something I've talked to the girls about that varies depending on opponents. But we will prepare them that way, and they're having a good time in training. Here we go. Anyway, good. Here we go. Pop, pop, timing, pop. Natalie, pull, Natalie, pull. Because by Nick saying it's coming down, which way does the kid have a chance to come out now? Yeah, so eventually that's you and Corey's understanding you're going to press that as well. And as she presses, okay, Aubrey, you come in as well. Does that make sense? Okay, good. Okay. Right, I'm coming, come on Sarah, come on, come on. Right, let's go. I'm dragging him along with a string. Okay, good. Okay, so the ball is out with Meredith. Meredith has it. Emily, you're in the game. Meredith's man, they're holding mid, has the ball. How do we want to defend this? If Mel gets the ball here, she can easily hit that ball, or she can hit the ball past you and you go in support. Mel, I want you to make sure, I want you to make an executive decision. If nobody's on you and Natalie is sitting on your butt, get her out of that space. It, it is an emphasis on ball possession. I think it's a, an emphasis on 10 players being engaged um, and being part of the solution. Um, I think uh, we're asking our backs to get forward in, in, in the attack and being comfortable on the ball. We're asking our three midfielders to do more than just ball win. And again, there, there, you can be successful in lots of different ways, but this is the way I know how to do it. And I'll adjust to the players, there's no doubt about it, but it, it's more of, a, it's more of a, a mental side of things as well. Right? One defender, two defender, three defender, four, they probably have two players on the side. Okay? You're balanced off, Natalie. Hello? Yep. Okay? No, you're good. Yep. Okay? So now, the key is now, can I play this ball? Because we have wide players, their outside backs can't tuck in. Does that make sense? So it's all about being simple through the middle. You don't get to go run around and get it, okay? Play it the way you're facing. We hope that they get better from week to week. And they, that happened today. Hold it up, go get it. Um, they got better and I was trying to draw that, you know, make that a point for them is, as long as you're open to learning and you're open to improving every day, then we're gonna get better. Okay, last one. Okay, here we go. Go, timing, timing. No, good ball, Katie Brown, good. They've been very resilient to something new and, and are excited about it. I, I understand, I, but they're also competitors and they wanna win, they wanna win now. Good, in the air, so just some air under it. Excellent, excellent. Diani's Hawkeyes open the home slate Friday at 7 p.m. at the Iowa Soccer Complex. Admission is free to all home Iowa soccer matches. 
For more on Iowa soccer and all 24 Hawkeye varsity sports, visit HawkeyeSports.com, the official website of the Iowa Hawkeyes. I'm Matt Nelson, and thank you for watching Hawkeye Stories.